He thinks he because he's the meeting. He can he can say someone, whatever the hell he wants about. Someone's got to make the decisions around here, all right? <laughs> and it might as well be me. Okay. Oh, who who died and dubbed you king of Idiot Mountain? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Never heard that before, but harsh, harsh words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't come here for this. Ah, uh, I don't do this to made. get bullied. <laughs> I don't. Poorly made. Episode eighteen. Back again. Christmas. Christmas is upon us. Jingle yes. bells. Jingle bells. Yes. The, the Christmas, Christmas spirit is in the air. Mariah Carey and all that. <laughs> as, as you can see by my background. Oh yeah, yeah. that that is not a, a a what do you call it? What do you call those things? A, a virtual background? That is a legitimate. No, no it's not. It's just not CGI. Shit. You see, I can touch it. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. That's my Look actual window. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, it still kind of looks like you're in a prison cell. Remember you had that in prison? <laughs> oh, yeah, he had the the jail. <laughs> why do you have no paintings or something on the wall? <laughs> Jesus. It's like why is that? Why is your bed so small? Look like a cot. Like <laughs> the bed takes up the whole room. It's it's literally like the size of my bed. Yeah, if you've been, I don't know. If you, come on, you've been in there, right? It's like wall to wall. <laughs> um, I don't. I I don't remember. Have like, you been? Yeah. Have you have you visited the Pleasure Palace? <laughs> Just Not a long, long time. <laughs> what's uh? What's what? What's your ornament situation going on the tree there? Was you? Um, the classics, hand me downs. What do you got there? No, nah, these are just like some new things I just like saw online. I was like, oh, I'll get these. They're like, um, what are they, like glass hearts. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. All right. You like glass this, hearts. For anyone who doesn't know Kamal, like, this is so clearly not his idea. <laughs> no, actually, so, so getting the tree, influence. so getting the tree was the influence of like the lady and uh the mother the but oh. um, <laughs> I was gonna say it too yikes <laughs> but uh, like the the, no the design <laughs> yeah. again you just showing up my my government name <laughs> I'll bleep it out don't worry <laughs> 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 but the design is all mine I I I had the vision myself. I oh, you engineered artist. that? You put that together? Yes. You, the string lights versus the tin foil versus yes. the art. I am I am Tony Stark, and this is my, my Mark I. Wow. There we go. Okay. This is oh, where man. it begins. Exactly. Well, that means next year I'll get you Avengers-themed ornaments. Ornaments? Or I don't know. It, off. No, I don't know. It, de best. it depends on what the, uh, the if the Avengers are still hot in 2021. So... Let's see. Oh, you're you're one of those fans. You're a fair weather fan. Not Avengers fair weather fan. anymore. You don't care about people, it anymore. People people have dubbed that the the MCU is over. Like people not, is it? like it's not over, but people like oh, it's over. There's definitely there's definitely not enough, not as much enthusiasm as it was like for this for the previous. Is it run. because it's no longer Tony Stark, or is it because Black Panther died, or both? It was before that. It was because like um. Anal cancer. Just because, like the the yeah, arc, because all the those characters, like their basically their arcs have been completed for a, mm -hmm. a big part. Yeah, and Iron Man, Cap are gone, are not in the, anymore. They had this big Thanos, you know that. So yeah. Listen, I think I think there's always room for something fresh and something new. Yeah. Give those guys some time. They might come up with something cool. Give them a chance. I, I'm sure they will. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm excited for that, uh, that Spider-Man movie they're coming out with. Everybody, and mm -hmm. their mama's gonna be in it. I actually got a small role in it. I play, um, Luke Cage's son in it. You know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Spoiler. <laughs> but no. Wow. What no one believes that. that works. <laughs> huh? <laughs> no one believes that. Extra no one believes that. You don't think I can play Luke Cage's son in the uh, Spider-Man movie? Listen, I, mean, I had a teacher. I had a teacher in college that tried to convince us that he was the, the extra for Arnold Schwarzenegger in the Terminator movies because that that stunt double's name was Billy Joe Lucas, and that was his name. <laughs> we were like, "Bro, you were not the stunt double in that in that movie. Like, what are you smoking?" Wait, is wait was he white, tall, and like had dark hair? No, he he was <laughs> he was short, white with gray hair. 
<laughs> so it like, was no way. Like, like silver fox hair or like great, like. Like wispy white old man hair. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Then. Like, like Mike's ball hair, wispy white. That's gross. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 too much. How do I know not... that? That's that's for the other podcast. Speaking um, of, and and just to you know, cool you know, cool Christmas trees aside. Speaking of cool things, mm-hmm. magnets holding up just fine, fellas. Oh god, you know, I do like that case. Not like to the not fire. not the callback, but yeah, I think it goes well with the blue. And uh, the cool thing about these cases, I didn't even know, is that when you put the phone in there. It recognizes because the, the the magnet in the case. See, look. Let me demonstrate for you, for you. Uh, you know, we're not sponsored by Apple. Mike. Uneducated, unless folks. they want to. And so, uh, right, what so does it say? Recognizes it. You get a little. I don't care. Circle. Does it look? Look, look, my phone recognizes that it has a case on it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> the phone knows. Unless, <laughs> unless the, phone, the magnet like keeps the phone like it doesn't allow the phone in the case unless it's yours. Like it like. No, nah, I don't even want that. I want the phone to like fly away if it's being stolen. Like, what are yeah, you doing? Exactly. It, it want... recognizes that it has a case on it. That's nothing. Yeah. Who exactly. cares? You g- <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> you guys want the 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 iPhone for the price that it costs? You guys want the iPhone oh, to like defy physics? <laughs> exactly. No, no, I, I no, no, I don't. I want you to stop acting like basic shit is impressive. That's all I want. <laughs> like, listen, that's how I've gone through my life. Okay, <laughs> like I find no. enjoyment in basic shit. You've been you've been lauding the like the the magic of this uh, magnet for like. Two months now. Three months. It's too much. Listen, it's fair to say that I've been gaslighting myself. <laughs> no. I, that's def- I don't think that's how you use that word again. But At okay. this point, it doesn't matter. We're just going to throw gaslight in no matter has, what. It has no meaning anymore. I don't think it has any meaning. Um, you guys got any Christmas fun happening? Any Christmas wishes? And Did you get what you wanted for Christmas, even though Christmas hasn't come yet? Well, you can't say that because it hasn't happened yet so you know, what do you I'm want not... for christmas and you hope it comes this year huh what do you want for christmas uh what do you want for christ mass a world's a world's uh worldwide cure for covid but we know that's not going to happen so mm. oh um, wait real real quick yes or no no context are you going to take the vaccine hot question not yet mm. well, you're going to get it yet so exactly yeah, I'm gonna. Take well, it. I mean, I'm saying like if they call your name, <laughs> they call me, bro. <laughs> they're def- you, they're definitely, that, gonna definitely not it, how that's gonna work. That's definitely not how it's gonna work. And they're gonna call I like me to and be imagine like, that they're just time. gonna pull up in, out in the street and they're just gonna like get on a megaphone and be like, <laughs> like "Come on, it's your turn." <laughs> get out of here! <laughs> get in, get in our portable lab station so we can right. inject you with this vaccine. Wait, what is in your my mind? That's how it's gonna work. What is the hesitation? I don't understand. The side effects, the the mm. the speed in which it was developed, the still unknown nature of this uh, the virus. We got this whole new strain, whatever. Yeah, yeah. You guys heard about the around. mutant strain? Yeah. What is that telling, about? They're telling people not to freak out about that. Don't you I guys don't, read? Of course, they're look, telling people not to freak out. What are they supposed to say? Yeah, so I'm just going to assume I'm going to be Freak in my out. apartment for the rest of my life, so I won't need to worry about a vaccine. <laughs> understandable. Mike, you taking gonna, it, also I'm understandable. Gonna, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it right in the ass. <laughs> nah, I'm going to take it in the arm world, wherever the nurse is. <laughs> <laughs> wherever is medically suggested is where I'm going to take it expeditiously. I just Mike, like Mike Pence Mike. taking it. Like, did you guys see the oh, SNL yeah. thing making fun of him where he's just like, I'm going to wear short sleeves? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that. I didn't see but that. I, I saw a lot I of people there. commenting on the fact that, you know, they were all denying it. Of course, he's like first in line. Yeah. Just shot up with that vaccine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, you, you had to expect that. Like, all these oh, people that were deniers or the woman that was saying that doctors were inflating the numbers so that they could get paid. and. And she's, mm-hmm. you know, she's one of the first people getting it. Yeah. Um, but I'm not, I'm not going to let that slide, Mike. That you, this is the second time you've 
talk about your enthusiasm about something going in your butt. Mm, I mean, listen, just, all I have to say is sexuality is on a spectrum, man. It's 2020, baby. You got to let that go. Come on. Come on. <laughs> you gotta let that go. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. I'm just pointing out that there's a 2020 Mike's doing good stuff. You heard That's that? He said, saying, I'm not right? saying that anything wrong with hey, it. Hey, I'm not, I'm not shaming you for it. You, you, Mike likes the butt stuff. Go for it. Nah. It's all like, what do you want for Christmas? What? Christmas. You know what I mean? More uh, what stuff. do I want for Christmas? Yeah, more butt stuff. Seriously. <laughs> Special kind of this peppermint lube. <laughs> uh, what do I want for Christmas? Hmm. Damn. Hmm. There's this, um, no, that's boring. I don't know. What did I ask Santa for this year? <laughs> A new what iPhone I want. magnet accessory. New iPhone. <laughs> Where it, it wakes me up and calls me by my name. Right. Now I want I want a bigger I want a bigger fish tank for my fish. Mm. How's that? Love that. That's Gingy. Cool. I, Ginger, shout out. I thought you were gonna say a bigger phone for a second. I was like, Mike, leave, <laughs> leave, leave the leave the podcast now. Leave. <laughs> leave and never come back. You know what's really phone. fucked up though? Like when I got the phone, I was like, I went from the max size, the the big yeah. size, to the other one. I was like, damn, like I kind of want the big size. <laughs> Mike wants a fourth camera on his iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> you want? I want extra volume buttons just because I don't even yeah. need just more buttons on the sides. Yeah, no, nah, I I get it. The the phone stuff's fucked up. <laughs> It's, I, fun. it's just funny. <laughs> it's just funny to make fun of these questions. Yeah. You know what? Whatever you enjoy, I hope, I hope you have a great time with it. Yeah, it was awesome. Hats yeah. off. <laughs> Hats on to you. Yeah. Uh, no, I want really... Rihanna. Have you guys seen those Rihanna photos that came out? My God. No. <laughs> My Jesus God. Christ. So wait, am I? Look, is this amazing. is this something I, I'm I should I say for me to Google? Yeah. I mean, yeah. It? Yeah, it's on her Instagram. It's yeah. safe. Well, I'll put this in, a, in a text update, like why? What's what? Rihanna's Instagram? Bad Gal Riri. Bad Gal Riri. Um, New. My goodness, she's wearing like this red and white two piece. Yeah, see, yeah. we're probably gonna get Good in for this. Who? Who? Not me. It's I mean, a nice picture. Relationships. No, I mean, and I, I saw it, it, and of course, it tells me that you like it. Oh yeah, I was. I was probably the first one. I was up there at least. Oh, be honest. That page is not checked. Are you sure that's her? Mike, you're on the wrong page. Yeah. Bad girl Riri underscore. Nope. Oh, not bad girl. Not bad girl, Michael. Bad, bad, bad gal. Bad gal Riri. Yeah. What is the real difference? Oh, that's checked. Okay. This is the oh, that's checked. Of her. Give me a break. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Like, that's not a real photo of her. <laughs> You mean the the stick figure? Yes, that's not the, her. the stick figure. Yeah. Wait, stick so figure. I'm supposed to be impressed by this picture with white uh, the bikini, the white bikini with cherries? Yes. Yeah, but there's yeah. another one too. You guys Where... didn't even you guys didn't even acknowledge what I don't, said. Whoa, whoa! Do not bring up uh, that girl, Halsey. If you bring up Halsey right now, I will fight you. Halsey's Are you going to say that we didn't react this way to Halsey? Yeah. That's what you were gonna say. Because I, was, I will swing on you the next time. I, I already, I, we've already gone through this, and I've, I've already said that she's an attractive woman. Wait, where's is the that? What you picture? were gonna say? I'm not gonna. Are you guys? Anything. Are you? Are you downplaying this Rihanna photo right now? Um, it's right. Nice. What do you want me to do? Yeah, First thing, no, you're gonna get me in trouble. I'm, too. I'm talking about. I like, didn't see the other listen, one that you talked. If your girl doesn't, doesn't acknowledge that Rihanna is fire, then that's her problem. I'm no, 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 no. I was, ex- I was, I'm be honest. I was expecting a little bit more. Yeah, I, I well, was. There, as there well. is another, there is another photo that I think is better. It's not on her Instagram, but there's other photos. But I just like that your that like is more than enough for me. Comes up. It says like no, my. It's just you. because we're we're friends. Like okay, I know. It just makes it friends. seem like you're like the first one. <laughs> you're the first one. It was like it was like Kev and then uh, posted the other, the other, the other five point five million people liked it. All right, so I don't okay. I don't follow like, like all right. So wait, uh, I don't follow that. But well, I follow Halsey, but I don't really like her stuff. I don't I don't like giving likes to famous people because it's like yeah, you got enough. You just give him the follow, which is. I don't even give him the follow that often. 
I give follows to donut shops that try to work me over. <laughs> okay, let's get into okay. it. Two callbacks to all the episodes. <laughs> How many can Mike do in one episode? I'm going to have a counter. I don't know if I'm that good at editing. So let me take that. Can we, get into, can we get into the first thing that we wanted to talk about here, fellas? Jesus yes, Christ. yes. Jeez. I'm, I'm, like, I'm like chomping at the bit here to, to talk about the ghost. Go. Go. Oh, you want me to go? Yes. Uh, I thought you were chomping at the bit. All right. So ghost. So Kamal has challenged me to watch a bunch of uh, anime and manga, or whatever the hell they're called. Um, and well, I I appreciate them, and I want to know what they're actually called. Um, ghost in the Shell. It was 1996, not 1995. You got that wrong, buddy. Um, and uh, I I thought that was a great movie. So. I told my girlfriend about it, and I was like, listen, I got to watch these movies. You know, she was like, okay. She was asleep like 15 minutes in. <laughs> or actually, she was like, not, she was busy with something else, and then she fell asleep. <laughs> 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 so I, I just, I excluded her. And, but it, I thought it was great. Um, that, that, first of all, I just want to say, though, like, my first criticism, like, what's with the rock hard nipples? Like, I don't, I don't understand. I guess, yeah, like like you said, like, oh, it's keeping my attention. But, like, it's more keeping my attention because it's like, what's your what's your play here, fella? Like, <laughs> like what are you doing? I, think, I definitely think it's a more an artistic choice. But also... Oh, um, it's, it's, a, it's a very <laughs> intentional artistic choice. But I think it also is supposed to, like, reflect on the fact that, like, um, I don't know, how separated she is from, like, from in like her sense. humanity in the sense, no, separate from <laughs> humanity in the sense that like she's not like the an average woman who would be. You mean because she's a machine? So she's yeah, because she's perfectly. She's, she's more because she's just as much like machine as you that as you. So for those who don't know, Ghost in the Shell is like this classic animated film that came out in the mid nineties. And whenever uh, the main character, whose name I don't remember right now, the main character is a woman android thing. Uh, whenever she like kind of goes she is a into ghost action, in the, shell. the ghost being like her previous human life or whatever human matter she has remaining built into her robot body. Uh, whenever she goes into action as like a pop, basically, she takes all her clothes off, so yes. you can see her nipples. Yeah, this yeah. Mike found the, it very distracting. Yeah. Or pleasurable. I'm not sure. Maybe both. Well, because, well also because oh, it was uh, distracting. <laughs> well because no, also the very clear. being naked allows her to be uh turn, I guess what, invisible? Invisible it's, essentially, yeah. Yeah. So it, it, mm-hmm. the cloaking technology. I got, I got I gotta wonder there. Like I gotta wonder, are there are there kind of like undertones there? Like, oh, she's invisible because she's naked, like Oh, like she's more powerful in our world as a woman. Be if she's naked and showing off her strange, well, you know, elongated. That's, that's a figure. fair. That's a fair point because because it's look, possible. the the guy, the other guy that that was invisible or had the technology, he was fully clothed and mm-hmm. he was wearing like a cloak, and he was also invisible. So like they could have made her invisible with clothes on, but they chose to make her invisible. Well, with I, I don't I don't know. Like, we're trying to sell genre. tickets here, guys. <laughs> we're trying to sell tickets. <laughs> I don't know enough about the genre, but I, you know, I heard that that isn't, is that like an actual like criticism of anime or manga or whatever, like that they, Mm -hmm. you know, they put, you know, portray women in those kinds of like, um, or is that not? It varies, but like they, yeah, I would say Japanese, um, like media has a different relationship when it comes to sex. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's a, that's a. Uh, but, a troll. but why is that? Because yeah. most most they're watching kind of men, like what, what sell, you know, they yeah, sell guess... a mouse pad at my job, which is an anime girl, and like the part where you rest your wrist, I guess supposed to be ergonomic or something, is like the anime character's boobs. Like this is a thing. <laughs> like big titty anime girls, it, they're oh. overly <laughs> sexualized. A lot of those characters are overly sexualized. For what you were watching, I don't know if that's like a big part of that. 
like as far I was gonna as say, yeah. well, sex, I, well, I think sexuality is a part of it, and like your yeah. your sexual identity, and like, yeah. um, and like, I don't know. For some reason, I watched this recently, um, and I thought it was funny with like the rise that we've had in like recently about with the uh, like in culture about like transgenderism and like this idea of your your identity and like your truer self inner self. Yeah, mm-hmm. I just I thought that was an interesting thing that like I don't even know why I I, I decided in, to watch it. You mean in relation to Ghost in the Shell? Yeah. Well, I think I think that plays an integral part in that movie, right? Because it's like trying to figure out who who they are, but like you know the, uh, their like nature, their essence. You know, mm-hmm. like it, is what they're doing human? Is what they're trying to do? Because they're robot robots, like they can't really ever live. Because like when she's floating in the water, like she can't actually live because she's part robot. And he's like, "Why are you doing that?" But you can tell like she's trying to just experience life as human. I I always love that stuff. Like I remember watching, um, Kavana Ka- or both of you might know. Like, what's the movie with, um. The robot and the guy comes and stays at the guy's house. Oh, ex machina. Yeah, yeah like I love that. Machina. I love that kind of stuff. That like yeah. questions. Like we have this relationship with like you know oh, uh, what what techn what what power is technology going to have? What where are the advances in AI going to lead us? But like the the existentialists, like you know, and everybody wants to say like you know. Well, it's like that thing that I told you guys last time about 50, it's like an article, 52 things I learned in uh, in quarantine. And one of the things was AI has a hard time understanding sarcasm, you know, just like learning about stuff like that is interesting. And mm-hmm. hearing, I thought the narration in the movie was a little, a little cheesy from the characters. Like it went on for a long time at certain points, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. The um, I I mean, for anybody who doesn't usually watch that stuff, I would totally recommend it because it's like the scenery is so amazing. It's shot like like a movie, you know, like it reminds it, it reminds it me a movie. of a movie. Well, no, 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 that's not what I mean. I just mean like, like a live action movie. Yeah, like it's shot mm. like you know, like like uh, like it doesn't feel like it's drawn, you know, like it feels like it's mm. real. Um, yeah. so that I mean that also. Plus, it's like totally futuristic, and you know, I was at one point, I was like, I can't believe this was made in 1996. Like, yeah, but I think that's, I think that's one of the, that's some of the biggest like positives and like advantages of like animation and anime is that like it's not limited so much by like the physical means that like live action filmmaking is held yeah. to. Um, yeah, and I think. I- you're also not restricted in terms of, I feel like you're not restricted so much in like the vision of the the storyteller can be like more directly put onto film. And like, you can see more what exactly they're thinking rather than like being, like being held to the standard, like being held to the bounds of what technology, yeah, yeah. what technology can, can do. Um, the reason I just think it's funny because, um, I remember I had asked you before if you had seen like Terminator, Terminator and things like that, and like mm-hmm. I'm I don't I I would have to look it up if it was an ins- actually I don't even know if it came what came out first if this or Terminator came out Terminator mm-hmm. I don't even know shoot I but like look it up real quick I feel like but like that would have been around the same time yeah they are Terminator. but like the the thing about it was like this idea of like humanity and um like what it means to be human. And as like technology becomes more advanced and we become more integrated way with before. technology, it's like Oh no, this was way before. It came 84. out October eighty four. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, so I, I mean why I'm know. thinking it maybe am, am I thinking two that... too? I don't know. But yeah, so that's that's what I was asking if you had like you had seen Terminary and liked it, because it was mm. a film that like kind of broke similar topics in a sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, it's also an interesting movie because it's like, Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Come on. Oh no. I'm going to ask something stupid. Go ahead. 
Oh, okay. Um, mm-hmm. I just thought it was interesting, like, like you know, you see movies that are like humans against technology or humans using technology wrong, which I guess this is kind of like that. But this is talking about like, like almost like the decay of humanity into technology, and mm-hmm. you know, like like it's interesting how it, it, it takes that spin on um, the advancement of artificial intelligence and stuff. Um, but you know, we still have like, oh, she still can use her her body because it's like I don't know what the word would be, but essentially it's stronger because it's it's you know metal and and tech you know technologically advanced, whereas humans aren't and stuff. Um, so I thought I thought that was really cool too. Yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, yeah. Okay, I, real I quick. So that. there was a little there was a little controversy on the. Ghost in the Shell remake starring Scarlett Johansson, right? Mm-hmm. So I watched it because I love Scarlett Johansson, and of course you did. that was that was all it took. Um, the movie I don't even remember what it was about in particular. I know that it was a different like take. It was more about like the origin, which like the original movie touches on, like oh like where where what is my origin? Like where did I come from? Who was I? Um, where in the remake she like tries to figure out her past and stuff like that. Um, did you? Well, come on, I guess you saw it, right? You saw it. The the remake. The remake, yeah. I think like briefly, Some like yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe it's not even worth talking about because it really wasn't good. Search for confusing. the nude scenes. <laughs> no, <I'm just> no. <laughs> but actually, but also, that's... does she get nude in that? Actually, I should look that up. In what I remember that. Well, she, yeah, like how did how did like they handle CG that? I, like, oh, she just becomes invisible. It's yeah. just it's, well, like no, I think she like it's more like anime nipples. <laughs> it's like um, I don't know, like it looks like she has like a robotic body. So I guess I'm I'm thinking it's CGI like her robotic body for mm-hmm. it. But like that's that's actually one part of it. I oh think yeah, was so interesting. It doesn't look good. Yeah, one thing I think of. I, I, I liked about it was that like I didn't even for the original movie um I didn't even notice really the nudity like that wasn't a part of it and I think that was intentional like I think her nudity like aside from like the the the, the think the motivations of the director and things like that but like the idea of having her naked but being like so active in the role so it kind of like removes the the sexuality part of her nudity and like mm-hmm. i think that was think done intentionally i think i think but yeah but there's this scene in the beginning though like when the her partner essentially i don't know what his name is mm-hmm. he's the other robot with the weird eyes he mm-hmm. there's a scene where she's like getting undressed like Maybe on like a boat. Yeah, he looks away. Yeah, he looks away. I, w- I was yeah. going to bring that up also. But yeah, and just to inter- interject real quick, because that was like my favorite part. Like the the relationship between, what was his name like Bateau or something like that? Bateau, mm-hmm. yeah. It doesn't so, like, unfold though, really. It doesn't unfold, but it was interesting to see how he cared for her. And I, I really love that dynamic of like their relationship because it wasn't necessarily even like a lustful romance type thing. Nah. But like but like when she's when she undresses, he turns away and it's like respectful. When she's naked and like like her body's destroyed, he covers, he it covers up. her up. And I was just like, oh this is so good because they don't say that there's like an emotional or, or a love interest type thing there. But Not like in all. his actions, it like it shows that he cares for her. And I thought that was great. That was probably my favorite. Almost episode. like a, it's more even like a little sis, not a little sister necessarily, but yeah. like a, a sibling because he like, right. he, he's annoyed by her at times and he like kind of makes excuses for her a little bit. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, that's just whatever her name is being, you know, mm-hmm. her. And yeah, that was, that was definitely interesting. The cry, I think the, the element too that I like this most is, is, uh, Aside from like the philosophical stuff about what it means to be humanity and stuff, is the uh, is the crime element of it. It feels like you know it takes me back to certain like things that I've seen, the crime shows and stuff like where the you know it almost reminded me of like uh, the Wire or something like where the guys like making drop points with the garbage truck and uh, you know they're they're chasing this criminal and stuff. I like I like that 
you know, that was, I feel like that kept it moving a little bit. And then you have like, there's like the weird, like, uh, I almost feel like it's um, avant-garde a little bit, like with the scenes where it's just literally just like scenes of the, of the city and stuff like that. Like there's no dialogue, there's no music. Real Well, there was, I think there might've been music, but that was, that was totally, I was like blown away that that would happen in an, like an anime movie, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, my, but my last question about it though, like what, I don't know. I don't really know if I understand the end. Like, is it an open ending? Like is she, does she actually get with the, the spirit guy who wants to create yeah, a they, place? Like they, is that left open? I think it's, I think it's implied that they become spoiler by the way. <laughs> yeah. Spoiler, but you should watch it. Um, I think it's, it's implied that they, some, they become one to an extent. Mm -hmm. How yeah. is it implied? Can I say um, my impression? Because that's just like as a new person who also watched it for the first time. Yeah, sure. So I saw Mike's question before having seen the movie. Mike asked in the group chat, uh, like, what the ending of the movie was. And it was like, did they become one or whatever? So I was watching to see when that would happen. And for me, seeing the new, like, younger body to me mm -hmm. was like a symbolically, it was just like a rebirth of yeah. her being put into a new body. And then their interaction where he's um again touching on like Bateau's relationship with her he was like oh that's not like the body I would have chose so it's kind of like he rejected her a little bit like acknowledging that she's different now like he's yeah. not or she's not the same because she now is half of the um, I forget the name of the like evil puppet actor. master the yeah, puppet master that? right yeah. yeah so like to me that was symbolic of him recognizing one, she's in a new body, so she's kind of like a new person, and they've made it known that her old body would not be coming back. And then, two, like, him saying, you know, like, this isn't what I would have chosen or whatever, like, because she's, like, someone else. She's yeah. a new person. Um, yeah. Mm. That's not the path he would have chose for her, but, like, she... Right. And, but it's, like, broaching this idea of, like, what it means to be human and, and consciousness, because they became... They became... Their consciousness seemed to, like, combine and yet, like, Seem to also exist as separate but one as well, so and that's I think that's the idea of like the whole concept behind like ghosts in the show, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. yeah. It it just it's just so funny watching stuff something like that from 1996, and you know, during we think we think of so much of like now having to do with technology and. And like our relationship with it and how things have changed so much where technology is part of our everyday lives and stuff. But, you know, and, and I, I, I was just thinking of the movie Her. Um, but like, imagine what it was like in 1996, like where you just, you know, you're just having like the Internet kind of become popular and not everybody understands technology yet. Mostly it's just people that are really smart and, have, you know, haven't been involved. <clears throat> it must have been it must have been like just like like almost like terrifying in a way you know like mm -hmm. because it's like what's gonna happen and you know they had the they had y2k and shit like that like crazy and then we think that our you know our generation or or gen z people are like very like they're unique we're all unique we have like our own struggles and stuff but it's just crazy to think about like you know people that grew up with the birth of the internet essentially what they uh what they might have um forecasted for you know like technology and ruling our lives and whatnot i mean if you think about it it does right like i mean is there a day that you don't pick up your phone like not that not that it necessarily means it's ruling your life but is there a day where you don't ever look at your phone like definitely different i think definitely. about all the time how like for one like my phone would last five days without being charged not just because it had a super you know just like a different battery that didn't power a small computer but also like i just wasn't using my phone that much like i wasn't really texting people everyone that i spoke to it was i could see them outside or like you know i just my world was so much smaller that i really didn't need a phone and now it's like my world isn't it doesn't feel that much bigger, but it's like my phone is so much more of my life. I want, yeah. Yeah, I remember sitting on my friend's stoop, like, 
having an iPod video or whatever. And like, it was like a treat almost because it was just like, oh my God, look, I can watch the, I, I can watch the Green Day music video <laughs> like on your stoop. And then, you know, you went back to doing whatever you were doing because it wasn't like, I didn't have Wi Fi or anything like that. It was just like I right. had to download everything. Mm-hmm. But yeah, Ghost Ghost in the Shell. If you haven't seen it, I'm I'm not an animated fan normally or a you know anything related to animated fan. So you know, I'm re- my recommendation comes with high honors. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what you're gonna watch next? Well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with his list. I'm gonna go with. Yeah. What I'm what trying list? to. I think what, what was that? that? I think it was either it was like House, no, it was, I think it was House Moving Castle, or it was like Akira. One of those. Uh, I mean, you made a very specific recommendation. You said, uh, yeah. Spirit. As far as the order, though, I don't know if the order mattered. Well, I was try- I think I, I like kind of split it up so because I didn't want it to be like a, all like tech and. I can't wait to see Princess Monosuke. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. You enjoy that. Well, I, I, I hope you enjoy it. Um, I'm, I'm kind of watching them with you, Mike, because uh, I haven't seen a lot of them either. I just know of them. So, like, I started yeah. watching Akira, so I was hoping that you would watch that next. I'm like an hour, maybe like maybe like half an hour into Akira. Yeah. But um, I mean, just to just I mean, to connect to our um, our common love, uh, the the um, Kanye stronger video was inspired by mm-hmm. by the the visuals from that movie. Yes. Yeah. Which Kanye loves that movie. Akira. Akira. Um Kanye loves that movie, yeah. 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 Well he apparently doesn't love it as much as he does Kim because he's separating from her. <laughs> Is that official now? I don't know. I heard about it. My girlfriend was like, Oh, did you hear Kanye was separating from Kim? I was like, I don't yeah. know. Uh, like, yeah, those those rumors have been flying around for a while now. Wow. Oh, okay. It was just yeah. But um, yeah, I'm trying to think of like one thing with anime is that a lot of I don't know, like I said, because animation leads you to like not being limited by like tech technology and things like that, and like even by like imagination really, um, they do verse a lot of uh, sci-fi and fantasy and um, a lot more than other than like live action media would. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm trying to avoid like. Unfortunately, a lot of the really good, some great animes are like robots and tech related. So I'm trying to avoid like just drowning you in I anime, mean, I, Star Wars I like stuff. That, I like that stuff. So once you finish it. this, I have like I have some like series that I would like to. I'll, I'll send you. I think we should watch it. I I want if I could say I want to see an anime version of The Shining. I want to see all of the original, uh, you know, ideas played out in The Shining, but in an anime form. So I want to see like the Native sure. American slaughter all of those white people. Like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure we could we could find you something that like fits that description. Oh yeah, I want to see I want to see everything like drawn out from what's behind the door in Room Two Three Seven, like everything. Um, so yeah, wait. so we'll this will be, a, I think, a, a continuous thing where we'll check yeah, in this, on Mike we'll and his in. anime uh awakening. Earlier, we were talking about Gen Zers fucking shit up. Mm. Speaking of Gen Zers fucking shit up, what was that girl's name? Michelle Mack? Um, Something Mack got arrested in um, Grand Cayman, Cayman Islands, for breaking quarantine. Yeah. Mike, your thoughts? Skylar, Skylar Max. Skylar Max. 18, and she wanted to see some jet skier or some shit. Her boyfriend. It was her boyfriend. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) That makes makes a lot more sense. I was like, when I first read that, it didn't say boyfriend. And I was like, who the hell would go to Cayman Islands to break (laughs) coronavirus, uh, you know, guidelines? Just to see a jet ski. Yeah, I mean that's like that's like being like a famous soccer player or something. I'm just like I don't really care about that. <laughs> um, no, I just I saw this article and you know she went she went to the Caymans and she was supposed to stay in her room for 14 days and 
So she she ventured out to whatever you know thing that her boyfriend was competing in to see him, and they arrested her for four months. Her session her sentence was, um, and then there was an outcry like from her family and stuff about diminishing her sentence because of how harsh it was. And I just I saw the story and not not that uh, I think what you said before I think it is kind of harsh to like put someone in jail for doing that but at the same time you know I think four, I think four months is like a very nice representation of like like how important these sanctions are and like mm-hmm. how important like like ad- adhering to the coronavirus stuff is especially when you're gonna flagrantly like uh, defy them for something like that, like that's totally right. unnecessary and stupid. Just because you're young and white, like you can do that. Um, I, I honestly, th- I don't know. I think for for I think in certain situations it would be hard. I think in her situation, it's really not that harsh. Like, oh my god, she has to suffer for four months because she did something that could have gotten a lot of people sick. Um, where for a little bit more context, she's eighteen yeah. years old. She traveled from Georgia to Cayman Islands to see her jet skiing boyfriend compete, I think, in something. Which, like, um, how many people, what percentage of people can even do that in regular yeah. circumstances? <laughs> so she goes to Cayman. She doesn't quarantine for the full amount of time. Uh, she gets arrested. Her boyfriend also gets arrested. And their sentence is four months. His jet uh, ski gets locked up. <laughs> yeah, so they're both, they've both been in jail since December 16th, which was not that long ago. Nice. A week ago, um, yeah. well, good. And, uh, a week and, ago. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they said. <laughs> um, and her grandma wrote a letter to President Trump. How the hell did it get to Trump that fast? <laughs> that's my question. Like yeah. she just shot that shit up the flagpole. Yeah, got it to Trump. Donated to his bogus com- campaign. That's how. I mean, they, they priority mailed it, I guess, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, yeah. I don't know. It's the holidays. USPS is not that great. They're, they don't get enough funding. I don't know what they did. Buy but, some uh, stamps, guys. Support your local post support office. Support your local post office. That's what I like. Listen, whenever I go into the post office in my town, the, the women are always just like, yeah, yeah, we'll be with you in a second. <laughs> I, hear the, I hear them behind the wall. They're just, they're just <laughs> chewing the gums off. <laughs> I feel like Mike. Wherever you live, it just has terrible customer service everywhere you go. Yeah. Donut uh, shop, some, terrible service. It some ranges. Sounds good. It ranges from slight, like bad customer service to slight racism. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean you'd be no. I mean the I went I went to a store the other day and the guy was buying this funny sticker of Obama and Biden and the girl was like, "Oh man, it reminds me of the good old days." <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah, hopefully we get some of those back." And she was like, "Yeah, I hope so. That would be great." That would be Why great. do they have still have stickers of Obama and Biden? Um, it's one of these like shop, like where I live, they they have these like like kitsch shops that you know they sell like bullshit stuff, like ficuses and fucking scarves. And she sells literally, she sells Cuomo candles, like uh. Candles with with, with quotes. <laughs> I mean, she, I, heard, I don't I know. Heard. Mike lives in a very white neighborhood, so I mean, oh yeah, very this white, is all very yeah. on brand, but but very white and guilty, and you know, everybody wants <laughs> and to, fragile you know, and everything. <laughs> literally, there's signs on Main Street as you like approach the town that says, "You are validated. You are welcome <laughs> here." <laughs> I didn't see those signs when we pulled up. Well, we did. Those up after <laughs> they took those down. <laughs> when they saw you guys. They're like, "Well, not everybody's valid." <laughs> you were like, "Oh no, we have those." Guys. Pulled out the skin color chart. <laughs> they were like, mm, "He's a little bad." <laughs> <laughs> like welcome and validated. Uh, uh, <laughs> let's keep an eye on these guys. <laughs> yeah, you guys are great. Welcome to wherever you go. But you know, here we just have this little monitor that beeps <laughs> just on your ankle. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I I wouldn't say that being in prison for any kind of any length of time is like. A joke. So, like, I do. I, I guess, I, like, as a another human being, I feel bad that like you're going to prison for something like that. But also, but then again, Especially it's like so young. 
any huh? any story ever cuz she's so young like any story i've ever read like you know about young people under 20 years old who get any kind of prison sentence i can't imagine like being 18 or 19 years old and getting a prison sentence but i mean at the same time like where was the justice for someone like Khalif Browder, right? Who mm-hmm. was accused of stealing like a book bag and yeah. was sent to Rikers and eventually ended up in solitary confinement and was released after like three years of never being confirmed um, guilty and killed himself by hanging himself with an air conditioner cord. Like, but I think, that, like, I think the, but I think that argument then I think that speaks to like an imbalance and, and like, so like a lack of sympathy for some, for a um, over, like an overzealous, like sentencing isn't the way to go. So like, because it's oh, like, man. because it's like um, some people have had a, a terrible experience and have been take, uh, ex- uh, taken advantage of and uh, exploited and uh, harmed through the the criminal justice system. The, the I don't think thing that to me is like Khalif Browder's mom or grandmother couldn't have written a letter to Barack Obama and gotten him out of jail. Yeah. Like that's yeah. that's the glaring like her getting you know arrested. You know, we can argue whether that's fair or not fair or whatever. But, like, the fact that the grandmother wrote a letter to the president of the United States and got hurt, like, that's wild. Like, Wait, that so what actually happened? happened? What actually happened with the... So the, the grandmother wrote the letter and, like, what they provided, like, the, they pardoned the, the people? Like, yeah, okay. I mean, the, the it, it doesn't go into detail specifically, like, what the president did or who he contacted or anything like that. Um, but it says that the president got her uh, sentencing cut in half for two oh, months. Oh, got it reduced. Well, yeah. funny enough, all right, it's gonna, this is going to, if I'm being honest, mm-hmm. I wouldn't, like you said, the like Browner family couldn't write a letter to Obama and have his sentence no, reduced. Is Obama slander coming? <laughs> <laughs> do, I, I, do I smell Obama slander? I, I, What's that I, familiar I, smell? Something's coming <laughs> about drones. I would, I would argue. I mean, you could make an argument that, like, that's because he would it, he would ignore it and mm-hmm. and not do anything about it. Right, so, right, right, right. Let's get it off your chest just, now. Let's take your time. Saying, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm, this is the guy. This is the guy who was complaining about. Uh, defunding the police being a terrible thing um being a bad slogan and focusing on the slogan yet mm-hmm. ferguson happened under him uh mm-hmm. Trayvon martin happened under him eric yeah. gardner happened under him mm-hmm. so like it's pretty patronizing to talk about the how a slogan is ineffective in garnering the type of support for reforming the police um well or or attracting conservatives or people across the aisle who really have no mm-hmm. interest in the lives of black lives to begin with because it makes them feel uncomfortable yet you were the president for eight years um said that to me was it was it Tamir rice or was it trayvon could have been um looked like him uh, i think it was trayvon i think it was trayvon the fact, the fact that there's so the fact that there have been so many um young black men who've been killed that I can't even remember which one he was referring to that was brutally yeah. murdered speaks volumes about it. Um, the fact that he's going to, you're going to be so patronizing in, in your criticism yet you did nothing about it mm-hmm. is insulting. I think his point though was though, was that he, not to get into Obama thing, cause this is about Scott oh, no. Mack, but <laughs> I think his point is that you can't, and I agree with you. I think. I think. Like, how how could you say that when those things happened to his um, his thumb? But like, his point is that to get things done with the way that this country like allows don't it to happen. Don't get him started, Mike. Saying, don't don't get him started about getting things done. Don't get him started about getting things done, Mike. 
uh, also, we don't I'm have enough time on this podcast like to do this. It shouldn't be like that. I'm just saying that he's – but I don't – I agree with you. I don't think he should have necessarily criticized the slogan. I think the, I think that was probably like – like. Mm, in, like, let me let me just let me put valid. it this way. That was instead invalid. of instead of instead of throwing his support behind it and advocating and using his platform as the the very popular Barack Obama to give it a push, he wanted to make um he wanted to make moderate white conservatives comfortable by critiquing by critiquing it. Yeah, but that's, what, that's, also, what he, that, that's the stance he chose. That's the stance he chose. White conservatives vote for Joe Biden mm. by saying shit like that, which would have pushed him over well, the edge. No, one thing. No Democrats were. No Democrats aside from, I think Cory Bush was running on defund the police. So this is nonsense. That like you that we need to change it because it's hurting democrats so let's let's get that out of the way and like i said no you, i agree you, that's you a suggesting about issue. this is the way to get things done on social justice when um your when your philosophy for eight years led to such a backlash that trump got elected speaks volumes you need to what but was that he his, needs to go to sleep he needs to go home he needs to, he needs to go home Rest like, on his laurel. Since Go home. 20, enjoy. Since the Reagan's years. Reagan what years. happened? Was that his philosophy of the country? Are we going to talk about trickle down economics now? Like, what's no. <laughs> no. no. Let's that, talk about. That, no, wait. wait what's his, her name? Respectab- Something neck? <laughs> respectability politics? What, what? Trickle down economics. For the, no, I'm just saying, like, was it Obama's go- fault for eight years that, that that our country listened to Fox News and, you know, realized that, or didn't realize that they were being brainwashed or. Was it part of a, a system that has got, been in place for twenty plus years hmm. now? It's it's almost. I wonder if someone should that to all come into people. office promising hope and change and radically changing the system in the way uh, uh, government yeah. is ran. <laughs> almost, if only we had a eloquent speaking, um, charismatic black leader who had uh, eight years to change or drive a step toward changing things for the better in those circumstances. And it's almost, I almost wish we had that. I almost wish he had a Senate that would have allowed him. Uh, Can we not do that? this? We do this every week. <laughs> First thing, no, we don't. We like, okay, we every don't. other week. Well, like, we do it way too Barack often. Side, hey, like, listen, I don't want to talk about him. He, I want Barack Obama to go stay home with his beautiful wife, with their their tons of money, and enjoy um, enjoy their retirement. That's what I want them to do. They're the ones who keep coming up trying to make documentaries about themselves, sell books about themselves, um, make commentary. Right. Make, make commentary yeah, about make commentary about uh, political uh, political situations that they help fuck up to begin with. Um, I want them to just just chill, be our our cool black presidents that are still alive and healthy and 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 cute and stuff. They stay in the back. You you guys can stay there with Hillary Clinton. Yeah, stay in the back and go home. Like just chill. Did you see Malia's boyfriend? He smokes. I, I care less. <laughs> I can care less. Wait, who, Malia is the older one? I, I don't think know. so, yeah. Malia Obama and Sasha Obama. Okay, Sasha so who's the, the boy, who's the boyfriend? Uh, I don't know his name. I don't think he's... Is he famous? I don't think he's famous. I'll no, look it up was, later. It's not important. He went to school with her yeah. or something. What was what was the other topic that I don't even remember? What was um, I was I oh. brought up about the West Point scandal. I don't know if you guys want yeah, to. You can, we can bring that up. What's, what's that I about? mean, yeah, We're, we we got like a good eight minutes or something. Yeah, um, essentially a seven. It's it, the number was seventy, um, like first year and a few second year West Point. Um, the first year people are called plebes, uh, which I think is hilarious. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I don't remember what the second year guys are called. Essentially, they're the students that cheated on like math exam um because they were they were taking it remotely um and so the you know um and uh, i i i'm i didn't find this article or whatever i i took it from from other people and um but we just thought it was interesting because it's like 
part of it, um, part of it to me is like, why, why would they cheat? Um, and how, how is it such a, a mass scale thing? And they said that the last, the last cheating that went on there was from either the sixties or seventies. And afterwards it reformed the cause like reform in, you know, in the, uh, in the leadership there and some of like the goals of the real, real quick, not to cut you off. These are 18, 19 year old kids. You're talking about, right? Um, probably. Yeah. In, in West point. First of all, there's student, no way that they haven't cheat. been cheated. Yeah, that's the what 60. I'm gonna say. They they haven't been caught. That's yeah. a completely different yeah. thing. Like <laughs> they're everyone's cheating. Yeah, they're all they're, cheating. They're, no, 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 no. But this was high school no, no, no. and college students. They they they've been cheating at West Point too. Like, no, I I understand that. I I totally understand that. But they they uh, from what I from what I believe they they were they linked the cheating to being at home because of COVID. That would so, make sense because they have, they're not being supervised like they would be in a classroom with a teacher. So yeah, so she okay. is more prevalent and they have, and they're doing it online, I'm assuming. So yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah, everyone's yeah. Googling the answers. Like, come on. Yeah, but, that's but they were, but they were also talking about how this, um, you know, like this plays into the idea that these are the men and uh, I, don't, I think women. I'm not sure. I don't know enough about West Point. I'm sure, I'm sure but, women at West Point. Yeah, there's definitely women. So, so um, that's the bigger question there. They're right? going to lead. Like, are we concerned? Military. Yeah, are we yeah. concerned about our future military leaders being cheap? No, like no. for one thing. <laughs> for one thing, just because you're part. Of, oh my god, here we're high level again. Um, for one thing, we're going to talk about school, Obama again. These these are high school or college <laughs> students. So, like, these are not like these are not grown adults who are like. Um, like they're in the classroom cheating on math as then they're like supposed to like dish out foreign policy in some foreign country and like yeah. deal with uh, like deal with the natives of a, another country. So this is not, that's not to be a concern. Um, like, yeah, I don't, I think this is being read into way too much. Like, I think we'd uh, like to, to believe that that's how it actually is. That no one's cheated at West. Well, they have. Well, thing. they have an honor code. That's well, the big, sure. Every, every school, school has an honor code. code. Every yeah. school has an honor code, and 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 students cheat every at at all high schools. So yeah, they haven't the, read the honor code. Like, yeah, or they or <laughs> they or sign or the handbook an, like everyone else, and they didn't getting an A it. was more important, yeah. or passing the class was more important right. than some honor code. Well, you only you only cheating if you get caught for it, like. Like most people say, so it's like, right. The only person we know that didn't cheat in high school was Kamal. Okay, let's just put that out there. <laughs> I just think that I just think like I, I'm guessing like the big idea is like, oh, this is supposed to be a, a held institution of honor and integrity and stuff like that. But I was like, all American institutions, all institutions are um, b- built on people, and people are flawed and cor- capable of corruption and evil. Corruption. Yeah. They, like, like. We expect the same thing from our police. And well, I just take you know it. I just goes. take it more so, like. I agree with that. I just I take it more like, like you know, like you could go anywhere and cheat. You're gonna go to West Point and cheat. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm sure they didn't go to West Point and was like, oh, I'm going to West Point. Can't wait to cheat on my um, <laughs> on my algebra exam on, over it was Zoom. Calculus, <laughs> which I can understand. I would probably need to cheat on calculus too. They were, they were going through their their uh, their, their school like their application. Right. They were like, all right, which school allows for the best <laughs> online cheating? And what what school can I cheat the best at? And they were like, West Point, great. Great opportunities for cheating there. Nobody well, did that. I just, I just wanted to bring this article up. You know, I understand you shoot me down, but I just wanted to bring this article up because I thought it was intriguing. Somebody else brought it to me, and uh, they no, no, it's it, it is they're interesting. Near, they're nearby to me, so I hear them firing their cannons and all that. But right. um, fine, you guys think you know they're no different than anybody else. No, I've I've been on West. I've been on their campus. It's it's. uh, When you went on the campus, were you like, "Damn, nobody's cheating"? (laughs) (laughs) I was like, "Where is the rampant cheating?" (laughs) I was like, "Wow, these guys are men of honor." (laughs) 
Can you imagine these? Can you imagine these these deviants are googling answers? <laughs> no, the funny at West Point. We saw we saw the football game there, and uh, somehow the bus that we were on got past like the first couple of security checks on there, and mm-hmm. and uh, I don't even know how it was possible, but which I guess maybe they're not as strong as <laughs> they look like the thing they are, but we got we got past the first couple. And then all of a sudden we got to a point where, you know, we were driving and we were trying to park for the, the game and stuff. And there's just like two of these giant tanks in the middle of the road. <laughs> and the guys are like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, where the fuck are you guys going? <laughs> it turns out that the guys who were manning the gates that let you guys through were they the were students cheating. that cheated in the 60s. <laughs> they were the pioneers of West Point cheating. <laughs> Oh man! Wow. And that's why their so... careers never flourished. They just got put on security detail for the football games. Exactly. Like they're still screwing up. For bringing this story up, I feel like such a blackguard. <laughs> a what? A bleep? A blackguard. <laughs> a bleep. Uh, uh, all right. So how are we want to wrap We want. We want to talk about Lizzo being fat real quick. Yeah, real quick. Oh <laughs> what are you that's, saying like that? Oh, but it's okay to shit on a mama. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay, so all right, let me before so you guys don't distract me anymore. All right, so um, recently Lizzo's faced some controversy because she like posted about going on a um, some some type of juice cleanse because she wanted because she wasn't. She was feeling not like herself, and she wanted this cleanse to feel better and feel a bit healthier. And her way of saying, "I need to take a mask." Shit. <laughs> and people were and people were criticizing her for crit- criticizing her um, her post uh, before and after pictures, and saying these are all examples of um, fat phobia and promoting a fat phobia. Um, yeah, and promoting a discriminatory uh, diet culture, and there was oh my God. outrage I'm online. Sorry, about that oh, wait, she, post, um, she posted pictures of herself. Yeah, like before. before I think and after like before, the cleanse, before and after the cleanse, I believe, and post about like how the cleanse helped her, made her feel better, and stuff like that. And people were upset about it online, saying that before and after pictures are promoting the health the the, the how useful this cleanse was for her were all examples of discriminatory uh, diet culture and fat phobia because they believe so. So what I've noticed recently so this is fat people that were outraged, right? Largely, like part of, or the or the body, I guess the body positivity community, right, which, right, which right. which I guess which I assume large, which I believe largely consists of. Um, overweight people, which mm-hmm. consists, which I'll say, I'm sure a large amount consists of overweight people, people right. who are promoting um, self love and yeah, but go on our journey, man. Yeah, Stop yeah. I just, I just think it's, I, me and me and the lady were talking about this, and we thought it was completely ridiculous. It's um, absurd. Yeah, I just wanted to get your quick thoughts what is, on what it. What is fat phobia anyway? I mean, because she's. Um, I mean, I have fat phobia. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, no, I think it's it's it's. I feel like this is one of those battles where like they have like a much less of an argument than like others because like they always seem to take it too far. So it's like I I think like generally this idea of like um, accepting ourselves and not letting ourselves be shamed into. Um, and not letting media and culture make right. uh, larger people feel ashamed of themselves quick, or quick less less human, um, less worthy of love, of acceptance in the world because of their weight. Yeah. W- was this or like, their bodies? Was it like a flat tummy tea Instagram, like I'm doing this type post, or was it like she's just remember. sharing with us, like okay, because I could I could see if it was. Yeah, well, Lizzo, check this out. What I got Lizzo buying like a diet thing and like at, doing an ad for it on her Instagram. I could see what? that. I think, she, but I think she mentioned that she wanted to. She wanted. She was taking a step toward 
changing her lifestyle in terms of dieting and stuff because she wanted to be healthier. And then there was backlash about that because people were saying um, there's no correlation between um, weight and health. Yeah. Um, which is well, like everyone's journey is different, you know. Like yeah, yeah but not if if, but I think, if being healthy yeah, for her means losing weight. Or if if a, a byproduct of her eating healthier is losing weight, that's not her not loving herself or being fat phobic. Like people should be allowed to make no, decisions. For them, no, according no? to them, no, you're not. According <laughs> to them, no, you're not. Like apparently, <laughs> apparently <laughs> any <laughs> shut, shut, shut your mouth. <laughs> especially apparently, if you are a a um. Larger public person, figure. husky person, who is a public figure who's spoken mm. about uh, pride in their size or whatever. Right. You're no, you can't you're back, not, get backpedal now. Not backpedal. You're not. You can't speak about positive. You can't speak about dieting or any type of lifestyle changes being positive. You can't show um, any body changes at that you desire as. Um, that's fat phobic. That's being discriminatory mm-hmm. and bigot and bigoted against them. Um, wild, and I get it. You know, like I, I get a community really rallying behind someone who makes them feel comfortable in their own skin, and then it gets taken away because a but that's, loses that's weight, a, or that's a or, weird you know, ownership. That's a weird. Yeah, I know. Sense tear of, her down. No, like you should no, support her. Yeah, definitely. That's a weird be, sense of ownership that you have over someone who's like you don't own them just because they. Um, of course not. They're also. Like share similar, of um, course. Yeah, but I can see, clip. I can see the the thinking though. Yeah, no, I get it too. Yeah. But I'm saying their argument and their, I feel like their lane for discussing and like mm. fighting for positivity is much smaller and shorter than um, other arenas of fighting discrimination and mm-hmm. uh, prejudice. And it's also the yeah, internet, because right? Because like, like yeah. none of them would say that's a Lizzo to her face. Like they would all know. still love her. I'm sure if they could, if face. they could, like, I'm sure if like COVID wasn't an issue, I'm sure there would be some people who would love to like protest in front of her Line hotel, up room. outside her house, Jesus. yeah, or hotel room, saying how she's. Is that the world that we lived in six months ago? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. How long it's been? Yeah, I'm sure there were some yeah. people who would love to call like Lizzo a traitor to the the movement and stuff like that. I just find it crazy. Just um, just as a fun fact, if you're oh, I, I got something crazy. My apologies to the the neuro uh, atypical community. My apologies, <laughs> neuro atypical. They just keep turning a blind eye to their needs. Come on, it's just yeah. Oh, see, see, that this ableist uh, the ableist language is not acceptable. Unacceptable. I think I want to I want to institute this in our podcast, but we'll talk about this later. Uh, just to speaking of of pounds. And how much you weigh? Um, I learned recently that the you know how we uh, notate someone's weight, right? With what do you use LB? Mm-hmm. You wouldn't you wouldn't write pounds. You'd write LB. LBS. You, mm-hmm. you guys know what LBS stands for, or the um, you know what it what it what it represents? You know, lucky, lucky butt sucker. It stands for Libras. Which is something Latin, right? Is Roman. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know about Latin. I, I haven't heard that, but it's it's uh, it's Roman, and but really, it's it's it comes from the zodiac. Um, that means scale. Oh, the scale. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm a Libra. I know that. No, oh, are you? Okay. Well, <laughs> Shout now, everybody, gang. now everybody knows what horns is for. Then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're gonna come find me now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna wrap this up. Uh, episode eighteen. It's been great. Go like Rihanna's photos on Instagram. Yes, and Halsey, <laughs> even though even though Kamal yeah. doesn't like it. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs>